welcome to the lecture series of mathematical modeling of manufacturing processes i am dr suman gothwal working as an assistant professor in the department of mechanical engineering at ajay kumar garg engineering college gajeta so in today's lecture we are going to discuss about the mechanism of the chip formation and its classification means we will see here the different of types of chips that are formed and what are the factors on which the formation of chip will depend okay so these will be the outline of today's lecture first we are going to discuss about the mechanism of chip formation after that we will discuss about the various types of chips and then we will see the chip breakers how we can break these chips okay so now we come to the mechanism of chip formation so as you can see in this diagram uh we have already discussed this diagram in our previous lectures you can see here this is the work piece this one is your work piece and this is your wedge shaped tool okay this is your wedge shaped tool now this this face this one this face is your rake face of the tool the rake face over which the chips will flow okay so you can see here this is the cutting edge okay this is the cutting edge means the cutting edge will come in contact with the work piece now you can see here this is the shear angle so what is the shear angle we can see here this is a plane this is a thin plane this is the plane basically along which the deformation will takes place so this is the shear plane okay and the angle between the shear plane and the direction of the cutting velocity is the shear angle okay now we can see here this is the cutting depth so cutting depth is basically the uncut chip thickness so we can say it as uncut chip thickness also okay now you can see here this is your machine surface because tool is moving in this direction so this is your machine surface okay and we can see here this angle between the machine surface and the flank surface of the tool this is the flank relief or the clearance space of the tool so the angle between the clearance face or the flank face and the machine surface is known as the clearance angle or what is the requirement of the clearance angle agar clearance angle provide nahi hoga then the tool surface flank surface of the tool will rub to the machine surface to ye jo machine surface hai that will damage okay now we can see here that here the tool is coming tool is moving in this direction and the deformation will takes place along the shear plane theek hai to material jo hai deform ho ke yahan we can see see deformed material is sliding over the rake face of the tool so this is basically the chips these are the chips and due to the high temperature ye weld hoti rehti hai jaise jaise material deform hoga ye ek dusre previous layer ke sath weld hoti rahegi so you are getting the continuous types of chip here okay ribbon like chips you will get in this part so if we are talking about the ductile material then continuous type of chip will produced okay so first we will discuss about the mechanism of the chip formation now there are various factor over which the chip formation will will depend first one is the work material means whether you are using the ductile material brittle material hard material the formation of chip will be different in each case so the chip formation will depend on the work material the second one is the material of the cutting tool and the geometry of the tool okay so tool ka material kya hai tool kaun sa material se bana hai aur uski geometry kya hai single point cutting tool use kar rahe hai ya multi point cutting tool use kar rahe hai form tool use kar rahe hai so that will depend ki kaun si chip formation hogi so second factor is the 
material and geometry of the cutting tool. Then the third one is the level of the cutting velocity. Ki cutting velocity konsi range may provide kar rahe ya kidney provide kar So level of cutting velocity and feed. Okay. And also to some extent to the depth of cut. So these are the factors which will affect the chip formation. Then the last one is the machining environment or whether we are providing the cutting fluid or not. Okay. So, so say cutting fluid kya karega? Cutting fluid basically it will reduce the friction and friction between the interface, uh, between the tool and the underside of the chip or the work tool interface, work and tool interface. So, it will reduce the friction at the interfaces. Clear? So, these are the factors. Now, the knowledge of basic mechanism of chip formation help to understand the characteristics of the chip and to attain the favorable chip forms. Okay? Now, we will see here the mechanism, how the chip will be formed and how the material will get deformed. Clear? So, this is our, this is the same diagram basically. This is our workpiece, this is the tool, but here you can see the primary deformation zone, secondary deformation zone and the tertiary deformation zone. So, there are three deformation zone are shown here. So, first primary deformation zone is shown along the shear plane, means first the material will deform here along the shear plane. First it will deform elastically and then it will deform plastically. So, this is the primary deformation zone and here the elastoplastic deformation means pehle elastically material deform hoga and then it will deform plastically and it will be generated in this action. Okay. Due to the friction and the high temperature the heat will generate here. Then the, we have the secondary deformation zone. In this, basically the plastic deformation will take place. There will be no elastic deformation. Here, only the plastic deformation will take place and it will be at the interface. Interface of tool and the underside of the chip. This chip flow career or the rake face of the tool. So, here is the plastic deformation. If the friction between the tool and the chip is high. Okay, agar jo hai, uh, tool or chip ke beech mein friction higher than plastic, uh, again it will get deformed and this is the secondary deformation. Then we can see here tertiary deformation zone. It will be, be basically between the tool and the workpiece. Okay, and here the only the elastic deformation will take place due to the friction and heat will be generated. Okay, so now we will discuss about the mechanism, how the uh, chip formation will take place. So, the metal in front of the tool rake face gets immediately compressed, okay, because the tool is moving in this direction and this tool is exerting the force over the workpiece. So, whatever the metal is here in front of the rake face, it will get compressed, okay, and first it will get compressed elastically and then it will compressed plastically and this zone is known as basically the shear zone okay we can see here here the shear zone is here so material is getting uh, uh, deformed first elastically and then plastically okay and the compressive forces will act here in this zone the material in the final form would be removed by the shearing action from the workpiece okay because of shearing the deformation is uh, uh, deformation uh, is taking place. So, the material will be removed with, by the shearing action from the parent material and the actual separation of the metal starts as a yielding or the fracture and it will depend upon the cutting conditions. Ki cutting conditions kya hai? Is pe depend karega ki yielding ki wajay se wo separate ho raha hai uh, deformed material ya fracture ki wajay se jo hai deformed ho raha hai. Then the deformed metal or we can say the chip, it will flow over the rake face of the tool. Here you can see that after getting deformed, it will flow over the rake face of the tool. And if the friction between the tool, rake face and underside of the chip 
is high okay then the chip get further deformed and it is known as the secondary deformation clear now the chip after sliding over the rake face of the tool ab chip jo hai yahan flow kar rahi hai to after sliding over the rake face of the tool it will it is lifted away from the tool okay and the resultant curvature of that chip is termed as the chip curl jo hame chip milegi ribbon like chip we are getting here so the, it is known as the chip curl okay this is the mechanism of chip formation now in this diagram we can see the complete process of the chip formation so here you can see we have the wedge shape tool this is our tool this is the wedge shape tool and this is the cutting wedge so this is the starting first diagram you can see here this is the starting phase here the uh, it will start the machining of the work piece first hamara jo uh, tool hai wo is position pe so this will be the uncut chip thickness this is our clearance angle and this is the rake angle okay and the tool is moving in this direction after some time jab uh, tool ne move karna start kiya so we can see here this is the machine surface and this is ab ab is the plane along which the deformation is taking place so this is the shear plane and this is the shear angle this is the shear angle which is represented as the phi okay in third diagram we can see here the material will or uh, as the tool is moving in this direction material is getting deform layer by layer jo hai deformation is tarah se ho chuki jayegi to jaise hi material deform hua it will start uh, sliding over the rake face of the tool you can see here the first first deformed material uh, first layer jo hai yahan aa gayi hai ab second layer deform hogi then third fourth fifth sixth and, and so on theek hai now it will it is sliding over the this surface up due to the high temperature it will get welded to the previous layer so the second one will uh, weld with the first one so in this diagram we can see that the chips are welded with each other so here we can see that we are getting the continuous type of chip here okay so this is the mechanism of chip formation now we will discuss the different types of chips so we can see here that there are four types of chip first one is the continuous chip then we have the continuous chip with built up edge then we have the segmented chip and the last one is the discontinuous chip so there are various factors over which these type of uh, chips means what type of chips will be formed will depend first we will discuss about the continuous chip so continuous chip we can see here that this is the same diagram which we have uh, discussed in the earlier slides also uh now we can see here this is the ribbon like curvature we are getting here long ribbon like curvature we are getting here so this is known as the chip curl okay continuous chip will be formed in this case so what are the factors we will discuss here so first the uh, first factor is the material should be ductile for the continuous chip formation so continuous chips usually are formed with the ductile materials that are machined at high cutting speed or the high rake angles okay so first of the condition kya hai ki hamara material jo hai wo ductile hona chahiye nature mein aur the continuous chip will form only at the high cutting speed or high rate angles the deformation of the material takes place along a narrow shear zone called the primary shear zone so ye humne last slide mein bhi discuss kiya tha ki first jo hai material will get deformed along the shear plane so, so yahan pe shear zone ke along jo hai deformation hogi aur that is known as the primary shear zone jahan pe ki primary deformation hame milegi then we have the continuous chip okay now next one is the continuous chip may develop a secondary shear zone because of high friction at the tool chip interface so tool chip interface pe agar friction high hai means yahan par okay if is area mein agar uh, friction jo hai tool aur chip ke beech mein high hai then we will get the secondary shear zone okay yahan pe ki secondary deformation hogi and this zone become thicker as the friction 
इंक्रीज हो जैसे फ्रिक्शन इंक्रीज होगा तो ये थिक जोन में कन्वर्ट हो जाएगा स्मॉल फीड्स एंड डेप्स शार्प कटिंग एज एंड लो टूल चिप फ्रिक्शन आर ऑल्सो रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर दी फॉर दी कॉन्टिन्यूस चिप Now we come to the continuous chip with the built-up edge. Means the material will be ductile here, and we will get the continuous chip. But we will with the built-up edge. Okay? क्या meaning है इसका? We can see here this is the built-up edge. Means a false cutting edge here है. वो बन जाएगी तो it will increase the life of the tool. Tool की life तो increase हो जाएगी. But here we will have the false cutting edge. Okay? so what are the factors we will see here the built up edge consists of layers of materials from the work piece that gradually are deposited on the tool tip hence the term built up okay ye jo hai tool ki jo tip hai here material jo hai wo deform hone ke baad yahan par weld hota rahega okay yahan par weld hota rahega to it it will deposit on the tool tip to isiliye iska naam jo hai wo built up hai बिल्ट अप होती जा रही है एज इट ग्रोज लार्जर द बिल्ट अप एज बिकम अनस्टेबल एंड इवेंचुअली ब्रेक अपार्ट और नाउ द बिकॉज द डिफॉर्म मेटीरियल इज डिपोजिटिंग हेयर कॉन्टिन्यूसली सो एट अ टाइम इट विल बी अनस्टेबल एंड इट विल ब्रेक हो द पार्ट ऑफ द बिल्ट अप एज मेटीरियल इज कैरिड अवे बाय द बाय द टूल साइड ऑफ द चिप and rest is deposited randomly on the work piece to jaise hi built up edge jo hai unstable hogi yahan pe material deposit hota ja raha hai deformed material aur yahan pe built up edge ki formation ho rahi hai to jaise hi material bahut zyada ho jayega to iska size jo hai wo zyada ho jayega built up edge ka and it will become unstable aur ye jo hai break ho jayegi jaise hi ye break hogi to kya hoga ki jahan yahan par chip flow kar rahi hai slide kar rahi hai uske sath आपका ये कुछ पार्ट जो है इस बिल्ट अप एज का वो चिप के साथ फ्लो हो जाएगा बट रिमेनिंग जो है वो रैंडमली कहा आ जाएगा मशीन सरफेस पे ओके ये आपके मशीन सरफेस पे आ जाएगा एंड द साइकिल ऑफ बिल्ट अप एज फॉर्मेशन एंड डिस्ट्रक्शन इज रिपीटेड कॉन्टिन्यूसली ड्यूरिंग द कटिंग ऑपरेशन अंटिल द करेक्टिव मेजर्स आर टेकन सो ये जो फॉर्मेशन की और ये जो ब्रेक होने की प्रोसेस है बिल्ट अप एज की इट विल बी कॉन्टिन्यूसली इन नेचर ड्यूरिंग द कटिंग ऑपरेशन जब तक कि करेक्टिव एक्शन नहीं लेंगे इन फैक्ट इन अफेक्ट अ बिल्ट अप एज चेंजेस द जोमेट्री ऑफ द कटिंग एज सो बिकॉज इट इज मेकिंग द कटिंग एज सो ये फॉल्स कटिंग एज की तरह यूज हो रही है तो इट इज बेसिकली चेंजिंग द जोमेट्री ऑफ द कटिंग एज एंड डल से The tendency for built-up edge formation can be reduced by अब हमें corrective action लेके नहीं आया तो हमारा motive क्या होगा कि built-up edge की formation को eliminate करना है तो उसके लिए कैसे reduce कर सकते हैं इसको There are some factors for example increase the cutting speed, decrease the depth of cut, increase the rake angle, use a sharp tool, use an effective cutting fluid, okay? Use a cutting tool that has lower chemical affinity for the work piece material. So these are the factors, or these are the um, uh, terms, and with the help of which we can reduce the formation of the built up edge. Now we come to the serrated chips. इसमें क्या है इट इज ऑल्सो नोन एज दी सेगमेंटेड और नॉन होमोजीनियस चिप्स मीन जैसे कॉन्टिन्यूस चिप थी कि विथ ऑलमोस्ट नियर अबाउट सेम थी बट यहाँ पर नहीं होगा ये जो है सेगमेंट्स एक तो सेगमेंटेड होगी और दूसरा नॉन होमोजीनियस चिप होगी यहाँ पर क्या है हाई शेयर स्ट्रेन जोन होता है दिस वन इज दी एंड दिस वन इज दी लो शेयर स्ट्रेन जोन होता है ठीक है तो हाउ इट विल बी फॉर्म दीज आर सेमी कॉन्टिन्यूस चिप ओके With large zones of low shear strain and small zones of high shear strains, hence the later zone is known as the shear localization. Okay, the metals with the low thermal conductivity and strength that decreases sharply with temperature means thermal softening exhibit this behavior most notably titanium. Okay, mostly this material के अंदर इस के अंदर ये behavior देखने को मिलेगा दीज चिप्स हैव ए सॉर्ट ऑफ लाइक अपेयरेंस ओके टूथ लाइक अपेयरेंस होगी यहाँ पर 
यू कैन सी हेयर ओके इस तरह की शेप हमें यहाँ पर मिलेगी क्लियर तो दीज आर दी फैक्टर्स विच आर रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर दी फॉर्मेशन ऑफ दी सेगमेंटेड और सैरेटेड शेप्स नाउ वी हैव द डिसकॉन्टिन्यूस शेप सो डिसकॉन्टिन्यूस शेप वी कैन सी हेयर दैट स्मॉल टाइनी पार्टिकल्स ऑफ चिप विल बी फॉर्म हेयर एंड दीज आर नॉट कॉन्टिन्यूस इन नेचर सो डिसकॉन्टिन्यूस शेप कंसिस्ट ऑफ सेगमेंट्स दैट मे बी अटैच फॉर्मली और लूजली टू ईच अदर ठीक है वो थोड़ा बहुत अटैच भी हो सकते हैं एक दूसरे से ड्यू टू हायर टेम्परेचर बट लूज पार्टिकल्स भी हो सकते हैं टाइनी होती है रिबन टाइप शेप यहाँ पर नहीं मिलेगी डिसकॉन्टिन्यूस शेप यूजली फॉर्म अंडर द फॉलोइंग कंडीशन कौन कौन सी कंडीशन हैं जो रिस्पॉन्सिबल हैं फॉर द डिसकॉन्टिन्यूस शेप फर्स्ट इज द ड्रेटल मेटीरियल जैसे कॉन्टिन्यूस शेप में the uh, material should be ductile in nature but here in case of the brittle material we will get the discontinuous shape so brittle um, workpiece materials because they do not have the capacity to undergo the undergo the elastic deformation okay ye tabhi ki tabhi fracture ho jayega is tarah clear and the high shear strain involved in cutting if high shear strain is involved in cutting that will uh, also be responsible for the formation of the discontinuous shape the workpiece material that contain in hard impedances and impurities theek hai or have structures such as the graphite flakes or in gray cast iron very low or very high cutting speeds large depth of cut low rake angles lack of an effective cutting fluid low stiffness or the tool holder or the machine tools the slowing vibrations and chatter to the chatter to occur so these are the factors which are responsible for the discontinuous shape so corrective action agar humne dekhna hai to hame kya karna padega hame jo hai yahan par agar bahut low cutting speed hai to usko high cutting speed mein low rake angle high rake angle कर सकते हैं मीन्स करेक्ट करेक्टिव एक्शन वी हैव टू टेक फॉर दी रिड्यूसिंग द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ द डिसकॉन्टिन्यूस शेप एंड द दिस वन शुड बी दी डाइल इन नेचर फॉर द कॉन्टिन्यूस शेप फॉर्मेशन देन वी हैव द चिप ब्रेकर्स तो वट आर द चिप ब्रेकर्स कि इन केस ऑफ द कॉन्टिन्यूस शेप बिकॉज इट इज फ्लोइंग ओवर द रेक फेस ऑफ द टूल तो क्या करेगा क्योंकि रेक फेस पे तो इट विल एक्जर्ट दी फोर्स ओके तो कटिंग फोर्स जो है वो इंक्रीज हो जाएंगे और दीज आर नॉट डिजायरेबल सो एक टाइम के बाद हम इनको ब्रेक कर देते हैं एंड द डिवाइस व्हिच इज यूज्ड फॉर ब्रेकिंग द चिप इज नोन एज द चिप ब्रेकर सो चिप ब्रेकर के लिए क्या क्या यूज करेंगे ये देखिए एज द कॉन्टिन्यूस एंड लॉन्ग चिप आर अनडिजायरेबल दीज आर नॉट यूज एनी दीज आर अनडिजायरेबल बेसिकली एज दे टेंड टू बिकम Entangled severely interfere with the machining operation. So, जितना लंबा चिप होगा उतना ही कटिंग फोर्सेज भी इंक्रीज हो जाएंगे और हो सकता है ये हार्म भी करे ठीक है तो इट विल इंटरफेयर आर कटिंग ऑपरेशन सो ऑल्सो बिकम ए पोटेंशियल सेफ्टी हेजर ओके तो ये सेफ भी नहीं है सो फॉर इफ ऑल द प्रोसेस वेरिएबल्स आर अंडर कंट्रोल द यूजल प्रोसीज एम्प्लॉय टू अवॉइड सच ए सिचुएशन इज टू ब्रेक द चिप इंटरमीडियंट Uh, with the cutting tool that have the chip breaker feature, so हम tool के अंदर ही chip breaker के लिए features provide कर देते हैं slots provide कर दिए groove provide कर दिए ठीक है तो इस तरह की features हम tool rake face में provide कर देते हैं जिससे कि एक time के बाद chip जो है वो break हो जाए The chip breaker uh, is a piece of metal clamped on to the rake face of the tool which bends the chip and breaks it. या फिर एक जो है इस तरह का material भी हम use कर सकते हैं ये हमने क्या किया है कि यहाँ पे क्या होगा या जैसे ही हमने रेक फेस पे चिप ब्रेकर लगाया है तो यहाँ मेटल का पीस ही होता है जो कि रेक फेस पे होता है यहाँ से आपकी चिप फ्लो कर रही है तो इट विल बैंड एंड देन इट विल ब्रेक ओके या फिर जो है हम उसके अंदर ग्रूव भी बना सकते हैं स्लोट्स कट कर सकते हैं उसको ब्रेक करने के लिए चिप कैन ऑल्सो भी ब्रोकन बाई चेंजिंग द टूल जोमेट्री ओके एंड देयर बाय कंट्रोलिंग द चिप फ्लो सो हम टूल की जोमेट्री को भी थोड़ा मॉडिफाई कर सकते हैं सो हेयर यू कैन से रेक फेस पे जो है हमने इस तरह से 
प्रोवाइड करती है ये चिप ब्रेकर के लिए ये जीरो रेट एंगल का टूल है ये पॉजिटिव रेट एंगल पे इस तरह का स्लोट हमें प्रोवाइड करती है और रेडियस जो है यहाँ पे ये दी हुई है ठीक है रेक फेस है तो यहाँ पे हमें रेडियस प्रोवाइड ये पॉजिटिव के केस में और ये जीरो रेट के केस में क्लियर सो दिस इज ऑल फॉर टूडेज लेक्चर सो इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट दी मैकेनिज्म ऑफ द चिप फॉर्मेशन एंड हाउ द मेटीरियल गेट दे फॉर्म फर्स्ट इलास्टिकली देन प्लास्टिकली अलॉन्ग द प्राइमरी डिफॉर्मेशन देन सेकेंडरी डिफॉर्मेशन टायरी डिफॉर्मेशन देन वी डिस्कस द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ चिप्स दैट कैन बी फॉर्म्ड ड्यूरिंग द कटिंग ऑपरेशन एंड वेरियस फैक्टर्स ओवर विच द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ चिप्स or types of formation of chip will depend and at last we discussed about the chip breakers so thank you